Hello and welcome! Today we are going to be taking a look at something of a mini Walmart haul. It's four items. Um, and these are the Hair Amazing dolls. I saw them in the doll aisle when I was shopping with my daughters recently and they were only $3.97 each. At that price, I was pretty surprised at how pretty they were and how nice they seemed. Um, so today I decided to pick two of the dolls up and then two of the fashion packs as well. So uh, each item is $3.97 at Walmart. These dolls are sold as a swim line um, and then right next to them in the aisle are the fashion packs. Um, so they work, you know, like on their own as a doll, like uh, in swimsuits that are painted on um, or you can opt to get the fashion packs. Uh, like I did. I picked the two cutest uh, to me, but I think that there were four or five options to choose from. Um, so we'll take a closer look at the dolls while they're still in their semi-packaging, I guess you could say. You can see um, the, the, like, the painted details on the swimsuit are actually really nice. Like, it's a very cute suit. And I wanted to make sure you saw the back. So uh, there were three dolls in store uh, in this line. And, of course, you can see the one that I didn't pick up uh, was the one with the pink hair. This is the outfit that I initially thought I was going to be putting on uh, the doll with the one piece. And then I realized that it will not work with the one piece swimsuit because uh, it has a crop top. So um, I will actually be swapping uh, these outfits on the dolls. I have to say, I am really impressed uh, with these dolls at this price. Of course, the hair is polypropylene. It it has to be when it, the doll is that cheap. Um, but it, it doesn't even feel that, like, egregiously dry to me. And, like, the actual doll herself, uh, they're not, like, super lightweight. Like, you know when you get, like, a really cheap doll and it's, like, basically, like, a hollow body? Like, these have a nice heft to them still. Like, they feel pretty on par with like um a barbie fashionista and they have the the same level of articulation and um the the hairstyles that they come with are like pretty cute if you ask me like i always like when there's curls in polypropylene because polypropylene holds the curls really well and then you don't really have to worry too much about it looking bad um so yeah i'm happy with them and then I'm just showing you a closer up look at the two fashion packs that I picked out. Of course, um, the quality on them isn't crazy good, but it's $3.97. And for that price, I'm <laughs> like very surprised. Like here, it isn't two separate pieces, but like there is like an overlap there in the fabrics. You can see at the Velcro that this is one piece, but I would have expected like the overall portion to just be printed on. So the fact that like there's any separation between the fabric at all is surprising to me. And then I do think that the printed on pocket details are, are really cute. I also think that the shoes in these fashion packs are particularly cute. They remind me of some um, G1 wants to high ones. This is the outfit that I was really excited by. It, it, it's so cute and um, surprisingly good quality. Like, um, it's a relatively thin material that that uh, the clothing pieces are made out of, but for the price, I really don't think that you can beat it. You can see that it's a halter top, so we'll just tie that around the back of our doll's neck, and then the skirt secures with some Velcro. The shoes are really cute, uh, kind of Gaga-esque to me, which I enjoy. And they're just this really cool, like, deep blue color uh, with a nice shine to them. And I was really impressed with this jacket. Like, we have, like, more than one uh, type of fabric here. Like, this is a, a pretty decent faux leather feeling material. And then the fact that at, at like, the lining, you can see that there is some lace. It, like, that, it feels like actual, like, 
uh, yarn or like embroidery floss, which is uh, I was really surprised by. I did want to take a look at the rooting of the hair, and I had to say I did not expect it to be so densely rooted. I think that uh, this is really <laughs> like so much more hair than I was expecting on a doll that is <laughs> so cheap. So, of course, these aren't dolls that would be particularly good for hair play, but you could definitely do some styling to them. And then here I have them. I put them on stands. These are the same stands that I use for, like, almost all of my dolls. So you can see that they're pretty on par uh, with, like, a Barbie size. They're almost 12 inches tall. I want you to see how pretty her face is. Like, they both have some blushing just above the cheek and under the eye. And then the eyebrows have this nice look of, like, fading in from the middle, which I just think is so pretty. I love their faces. Like, the shape of their eyes and then even like the way that the lashes are done it's it's really cute and the fact that she has an open mouth smile I'm always a fan of that on it all I don't know why it just appeals to me um but yeah I just think that they're that they're really pretty and I cannot believe that, that they were only three dollars and 97 cents I keep saying that I could pretty much just say four dollars but I want to be accurate so even though these are super playline dolls, obviously, and super budget dolls, I actually think that they display really cutely. I'll definitely be giving some level of style to the one on the left just to make her a little bit more display worthy. I think because her outfit is lacking a little comparative to the one on the right. But I will definitely be displaying these and I am so happy these are so cheap and absolutely accessible and i really enjoy that you get to pick which doll you want and then you can pick the outfit that you like separately that's something that i'd really like to see in the doll aisle in regular stores just like a fashion doll build a bear where you can just like pick your doll and then pick your outfit um I, that would just be that would just be a trip but um this is this is really cool to me and then i just wanted to show you uh like their side profile you can see that they're very slender dolls and um the outfit does say that uh, the outfit's packaging says that it does fit most 11 and three quarter scale dolls so these should be good for barbie as well which is nice because if you restyle dolls then the more options that you can have at a better price, then the, the better, obviously. Um, and yeah, that, that's going to wrap things up for today. I really super appreciate you being here. I hope that you enjoyed and that you'll consider subscribing. And other than that, I will hopefully see you in the next one. And you have a great rest of your day. Okay, bye for now.